So, in order to see what a template looks like, to see its content, you have to edit it. Okay. So here's what happens in a template. Okay. What's that first line do? Oh, what do you think that first line does? Let's improve with. It's probably well, on the screen if you join the meeting. No, I'm not in <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so don't highlight it, Tyler, because that's not going to help with zoom in. Nah, that's better. Yeah, a couple more maybe because that was blind. Oh, that's too much. There you go. Okay. What's that first line do? You're not a programmer. You're not a programmer. James used to be a programmer. Still, Kyler's not a programmer. But it tags um, everything that has the, the tag that's um, or the field that's under the crit tag. Yes, but the first word was not the right word when you said it tags. What does it do? It lists. It. Captures. It lists. You're absolutely right. It, it lists. It captures. It, it lists. You're absolutely right. Where is that list? It's there. It's like sitting there, and now you have to play with that list. Okay. So it, I think of it as a capture, as a filter. It's a filter. It's like you you have this like um, I don't know. You ever have something where you, like when you're straining your spaghetti? You know, colander or some sort of filter. You pour all the stuff in, and only certain things come out the bottom. The things that come, that come out the bottom that are that have it's like the results of the filter, right? So it's tough to understand like what side of the filter you're working on. The stuff that comes out the bottom are all the tiddlers that are tagged with crit. So if, as the tiddler is going by this filter, if it's not tagged with crit, what does it do? It goes on. But if it's tagged with crit, so, oh, I got to pay attention. And then what do you do? Well, write a horizontal rule. That's what the HR is. And then write the word critique, follow it with a colon, and then a break. And, whatever's it. and then the contents of the current tiddler's crit. The current tiddler result, now I'm the tiddler that's hopping along looking for my filters, right? What if we want to put the Tyler in there? The contents of the Tyler field, how would you do that? Yeah, or add another line that's yeah. uh, copy the crit line, the last line. Okay, let's copy that. In fact, let's just type it. Hit return after that line. Let's just type it. Yeah, uh, undo. Yeah, go on the next line. Keep the crit in there. Go on the next line. Now, what we want to do is we want to, this is a vocabulary, this is a little thinking weak as opposed to weakification. Okay, so the weakification concept that we want to do is we want to. Transclude the field called Tyler into the current tiddler. How do we do that? You hear transclude, you think curly braces. So open a set of curly braces, just like above. And you think current tiddler, you, you hear current tiddler, you think double exclamation points, which means this tiddler. And sort of, yeah. And then the yeah, it's a little yeah, basically. But and then Tyler close it with curly braces, and um, yeah, and put Tyler in front of it just so that we know it's really there. Cold, Tyler Coles, space, perfect. Okay, um, say, what's Oh, what'd you do it in Bone Store, right? Because it's under your most recent tiddlers? Yeah. Yeah. Worked. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, how would you use that? Suppose that you've got 100 concert tiddlers right. and you imported them using that spreadsheet. The name of the field is the first column of the spreadsheet. So, in James's case, it was a wedding picture or description or something. And so, it would be like data, bio, 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 whatever. So you want to put the bio here, and so that's picture. And does that technique work when you're doing the first kind of writing that I was talking about? That writing to think that, like, you know, for yourself, or is this technique of templating only relevant to performing something, creating a performance for an audience? Or as Paul said, data. -driven. I think it's more relevant to thinking about what your content is going to look like for your audience. 
I'm not sure I quite see how this relates to my writing, I think. But if you think about what I did, right, like with critique, because I said I just created a crit template, and what was my work process? So let's 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 be me, let's write a critique of Tyler's. Um, so close all your piddlers or, or go home. Hello. Hi. Just gonna look real quick. I know you've this been like harassing us yeah. all class. Is that for you logging in? No. Uh, you're being spammed from Russia and Bulgaria and the uh, whatever. Oh, are they that's trying awesome. to join our class? No, they're trying to break into our network. Oh, you're defending? Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll see that. So it comes up for 24 seconds. Yes. A ringtone. Were we trying to join? I thought that there was re music. No, that's <laughs> no, just like ringtone music. music. <laughs> this is a Cisco telepresence we just learned. Uh, there is the possibility. Don't trip over my cord because the fire guys come in and, uh, you know, <laughs> don't be unhappy. Right? Yeah, that's on me. Yeah, you can't do it. Well, wait a minute. That's why I told you not to answer that call. You're like, yeah, just go ahead and answer it. Yeah, so that's exactly, you know, that's the difference, like, right? Yeah. All right, I just said do not. I knew you were. I'm one, of the, uh, I'm one of the faculty in the College of Arts and Sciences. Oh, great. I just put the privacy on so you probably won't get that okay, anymore. Thanks, Steve. Okay, thanks, Steve. In the upper left hand corner, if you click on the little icon there, a uh, drop down menu comes and says, Do not disturb. That should prevent these from coming in. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Um, the room is really, is really terrific. I think it's great. I can't wait to see it work. We're not actually using it. Using using it. Just just we're not, well, no, we do. I have a guest speaker coming in in a few minutes, but we could be doing that. You're doing it with Zoom, right? Okay. Very good. All right. Take right. care. See you. Enjoy your day. Do you want this post? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't care. Good job, Dr. Shadi. You let the Russians and, and the Bulgarians or whatever. Because we told James to answer the call. I said, well, we can still talk to him. It'll be fun. Thanks. <laughs> Let's be me. Find a tip of that you want to critique. Going forward, I like going forward, but the going forward, but the going forward. Okay. Um, and let's critique that. Um, so edit that tip book and create a field called, how, what, what's, how would I do it? How would I do that? I should have asked you, right? Create a field called crit, right? Um, what's our critique if it's going forward? Garbage. So the project that I plan on going with is the week exercises for the rest of the semester. Weekly exercises. Oh, he's fixing <laughs> Okay, so in the crit field, right, um, I suggest you focus on your autobiography. And add it. And is there anything else you need to do to get this to show up? Yeah, tag it. Two. What am I, what am I doing? Yeah, you want the critique to show up. Yeah. What are you going to tag it to? Um. Go up to crit template, uh, which is, I don't know. You need crypt templates in the recent list, or you know, you have to find it somewhere. Don't close going forward. There it is. How are you going to get that tiddler to be responsive to crypt template? I'm going to list this under the crypt template. List this under the crypt template. Mm -hmm. What's the first line of the filter say? The first line of the template say? Uh, current tag crypt. So, how are you going to make it the current tag crypt? I get to crit. Yeah, and as you need to be obnoxious, I was sort of obnoxious. But the it's the act of saying, "Oh, I got to tag this, and then it will hit that template." Okay, so save it, and then you should see going forward on the bottom, and it's there. Oh, okay. Why is that there? Um, because this was still here. It was some under the under the tag crit for the break because it was separated by the. So add a break to the tag crit, to the, there, so at least, um, you kind of, I have found that templates need to be, the breaks and templates need to be hard coded. Yeah, that'll work. Um, you can put it on the same list. So let's see if that changes it. Yeah. So why is there anything about Tyler? Uh, 
is Tyler, what, what's the value of the field Tyler in the Tiddler going forward? There is no value. Yeah, I think there's no value. I don't think it does, I, I think it doesn't exist. So existentially, I don't know if there's no value or if it doesn't exist. Practically, I don't think it makes a difference to us. Probably to Jeremy it does, whether it exists or doesn't exist. So, but yeah, so anyway, that's, but, but why does the word Tyler show up? Go to crit template. And because it says Tyler, colon. You asked for it. I did. Yeah. So whether it has a value or not, if you hard code something, right, the, then it's going to show up in your template, which is, it's doing what you want. I think it was, was it the Monday Night Workshop? No, it was with a graduate student yesterday. I said, I just want a platform that does what I want rather than what I say. <laughs> you know, or does what I think. I used to say that to my kids all the time. Do what I think, not what I say. You know, which of course is kind of a high bar. Um, unfortunately, typically Wiki does what you ask it to do, not what you want it to do. Um, so, okay, so that's sort of an extended version of templates. Um, they are, um, I think, really important in building anything that's going to be shared with an audience. So if you're going to use TiddlyWiki as a presentation tool, which many of you are, and you can think of your autobiography as somebody's going to read it. So you want to get that in your head. It's not just for you. Um, then I think templates are really important. And they're the, it's really hard to manage content at any scale so that happens. So as if you're designing interactive text, in some ways your, your interactivity might get represented and designed in your template, and then it's applied to your tiddlers. So they're little pieces of code that get applied to tiddlers. Um, you, you, you do web design, right, or no? Not anymore. I haven't done it in about a year. Okay. I used to do did, it. How did you, how did you, what did you use, Dreamweaver? Yeah. And do you use Dreamweaver, Paul? Your Dreamweaver? What do you use? Khan is making us use Muse. Muse? Yeah. And what do you use if you build websites? Okay, well, I'm really WordPress. WordPress. Okay. I do freelance use Wix. Wix, WordPress. How do you do that in those tools? How do you, what's the equivalent of a template? The whole thing is a template. It's a template. It's a yeah. At least for Wix. Mm -hmm. So what do you mean the whole thing is a template? There's really no. You can customize, but you can't like, at least with Wix, you can't go in there and like change code. Can you stuff. change the template? You, you could modify it to. So that all your pages look differently? Yeah. Can you do that in WordPress? WordPress is bad. Yeah. WordPress says, here's 30 templates, pick one, or 50 templates. So <laughs> free, you can buy a template and it changes how every page is laid out. But you don't edit the templates directly. I do. But you can, right? You can change the background color and you're editing the template, not your content. So you're used to this in WordPress. I think you're used to this in Wix. Yeah. Yes. Well, how do you change like the um, the default font of all of your going to the template settings? It's the uh, CSS uh, system. Well, well, so you can't do that. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. You have to go into their little menu. Yeah, they've got a whole they system to manage the way that you because they don't. You can't just create a template. So I'm not saying this is better, but you're used, it's the same technique. Okay. Um, and so, do you see how the same technique applies here? Um, you know, and I don't know if this system is, if, if Tiddly Wiki as a platform is better or not, or different, or, or robust enough to be produced. But what I like about it, and what I think is really intriguing, is that this is, you can't, this is pretty simple. You can very simply say, oh, I can do it. once you get that first line, and you don't have to even type it again, you just copy it. Back to make it well, that's just to do that to make a template, you just clone it, um, and I'll show you how to do that. But what I like about Tiddly Wiki, the reason I picked it for this class, was that it puts you directly into the code of all the different aspects of the wiki, which you don't get with Wix or WordPress. You don't see it. You can kind of get there, but you can't really see it. Yeah, but you can't change it at that level. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I mean, and that's fine. But I think it's, you, you have to do it in HTML. You don't use the same language that you use to write content. So, um, here, save this. Okay. 
um, go to Crypt Template, clone it, and give it another name. Let's call it Tyler Template. And let's apply it to, to, um, to this compact Tyler. So I'm going to do that. Currently, it's being applied to Tidlow's tagged crit. Yeah. And so you want to apply it to Tidlow's tagged title. So, yeah. And so sometimes when you think about what you're trying, not that you weren't thinking, but when you say it out loud, change it from Tidlow's tagged crit to Tidlow's tagged title. You say, oh, I have to find the word crit in that code and change it to title. This is, um, I mean, you guys are on New York State. You, you were homeschooled. You didn't do the regions. Remember you took algebra? Oh my god. <laughs> this is algebra base. Sorry. Oh my god. Isn't that the, and you thought, I'm never gonna use this again for the rest of my life. Why do I have to do this? You were like what? I was grade, thinking more grade. like trigonometry, but this is not trick, this is algebra. I I don't get it. 10th grade, but, but this is this is it's algebra. Right, you know? This is like formulas, algebra, chemistry, I don't know. So it's more algebra, but yeah, anyway. Um so well, well, what do we want to do when you get to it? Tiddler tagged Tyler. I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. Get rid of the HR. Let's do something. Get rid of all that stuff. Let's do something fun. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, okay. So when I start working with the template, the first thing I do is I build in some debugging. Um, I, um, the concept of debugging, does that make any sense to you? Is that something you've ever done? What is debugging? Like going through and making sure there's no errors. Oh. What would it mean to build in debugging? It would be a debugging statement, basically. Oh, no. Every line of code, you write a statement of what it's supposed to do. Yeah, okay. What I want to do here is I want to make visible the code that I'm working on so that I can get back and forth. <coughs> so to make sure that my template is working, the first thing I do is I always put an HR in just so you kind of you know, know where it is. Um, and then on the next line, I'll put the word template colon. And, um, I want to grab the name of my template, which is there. Yeah. That's the name of our template, right? Yep. Um, and if you put that, if you make that a link, I don't know what they did. Uh, to make any word a link or any titular title a link, you close it in double square brackets. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Um, okay, let's see if that works. Um, tag it this to, um, instead of to crit, tag it to Tyler. Because otherwise, it's kind of hard to find templates because they're, yeah, I don't know, it just, it, it's fine. Okay, so tag it to Tyler, okay, and get rid of the crypt field, we don't want that. The value of the crypt field then in the um, template, yeah, get rid of that. Okay. okay, that's good. Save it. And um, let's create a new tiddler. Tag it, well, yeah, give it a title. I like that. And tag it to Tyler, of course, and save it. And um, it's working, right? So the reason I do that is now you can just click on Tyler template, you've got it right there, and it'll take you right to it, and then you can edit the template and add to it. So what do we want to do? I don't know, let's make a, um, let's make a, Let's put a list of all. Let's put a, let's tag put a tag Tyler in there. Oh, which one? In the Tyler template. Um, at, under your template line, uh, instead of a field called Tyler, because we're not calling fields here, just put a tag Tyler. So when you put a tag, in, you want to close it in double angle brackets. Um, those are squares. What's the um, the angle brackets are oh. the yeah. Um, double angle brackets and the word tag and then the name of space and then the name of the tag in close in quotes if it has space in it but if it doesn't you don't need quotes but it doesn't hurt if it has it and close the angle brackets and um, that's what it's going to look like put an HR uh, a quick break in there so we get them on different lines um, yeah right there uh, yeah, you don't need the HR, do a break. Yeah, okay. So then we'll go up to um, save it. And um, yeah, so it's putting the tag Tyler there, which is kind of stupid because it's already tagged to Tyler, so why would you need it twice? 
So you can do anything you wanted to in that. You can set the background color of the tiddler. You can um, set the size. You can set whatever you want to do. Um, do you have to do the background color of the tiddler? Does it read it in RBG or CMYK through the, the coding in the tiddler? Because you can use the HTML code for background. I know that works. Just use the hexadecimal value. Go to design colors. right. Yeah, go to design right. Search for background. Let's have it in there. Setting the page background. The first link. Setting the well, up a little more. No, no, no. Up, 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 up. There it is. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Yeah, I think that. Oh, that's the whole. Everything. That's the whole back. Okay, so let's um. Tiddler background, um, um, try Tiddler background. Yeah, probably space. Yeah, let's see. Um, Yeah. There's a way to try color. Not the palettes, it's not gonna help you. Um, have I done background colors or anything? You might just search for it in Google. So the, the kind of generalized concept is we search for pretty much anything with the word tiddlywinky. So open another tab in, in your browser and search for tiddlywinky. Oh, you don't even need to go to Google. You just you got to, you just type right in the search bar on the top. Um, as long as you start with TiddlyWiki, um, one word, because otherwise it will interpret these two, and then you want a Tiddler color background or something. Whatever you want to do, color background Tiddler. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you kind of want to make sure it's TW5, and there's the code. Background color pink. You just need that. You don't need the whole bit. You just need the background color pink. Okay. Um, and put that in Tyler template. Actually, you do need the. Yeah. Do you? you need yeah. the whole code. You need the whole code. Okay. What do I know? Or you can just do the regular HTML code. You want to want to put it probably before your script for the template. Is that going to work? I don't think so. I think the first line of the template has to be the filter. Try this. Type in um, single um, carrot or angle bracket. After, it has to be after the filter. Yep. Type in um, body. Oh, Dan's going for the uh, oh, no. HTML. Oh, you need uh, angle You have bracket. to close it in brackets. It's HTML. Background. Nope, leave it open. Um, space color equals. Pink. In quotes. Yep. Close quotes and close bracket. Okay, maybe that'll work. <clears throat> um, That's not me. Nope. But you can do those things. <laughs> so, and, and the point is not to show you that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. But it's like it's probably a fifteen-minute process to figure out somebody else who's colored a tip. Um, ask in the group, and I'll usually spend fifteen minutes to figure it out. And I've done it before, and I just don't remember how to do it. Um, where do I do background color? Go to Design Right and search for. It's in the menu bar. It's actually background color. Search for. Um, and do it in advanced search, um, which is a, 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 a second, first search button. The after, to the right, to the right, there. Yeah, and the core UI top bar menu. And edit that. And um, div style equals background blue. That's what it is. Copy that first line. And put that in your Tyler template after the filter. Yeah, put it there and 
there. Okay. But that doesn't save the two month, that just saves the That saves it in the tenth month. Does it go down to the to the other one, tag to Tyler? Yeah. 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 Only the so yeah, there's a way to set it to the tip of so um good luck. No, uh, but if you, so the point of the, this, um, the opportunity in the class, hey, Jeremy, how you doing, is oh, I see. identify something you want to do. Like, oh, I want all, in your autobiography, I want all my tiddlers from when I was a child to be baby blue. And then when I turn to be a teenager, I want it to be a darker shade of blue. And then when I become an adult, I want it to be black. <laughs> my life sucks. You know? But think of what you want to do. And having the imagination of that's what I want, that's what I'm. That that's the that's the point of classes to have that imagination. And then for you, like how do I how do I describe what I want? As long as that I can see that we don't care if it actually is black or blue or if it works. We just want to see that that's what I want. And then use the Google group for the class to say, hey, how do I do this? And you will get a response within a day or two. And so we'll say, oh, here, just put this code in. And if we're not fast enough, then go to the Tiddy Wiki group and you'll probably get a response in a half an hour. Um, although it's a social thing, right? Working with a community, and that's another part of this class, is how do I work with the community of developers? The, the design rate class is a group of developers who don't know much. So, but there's a few people you know, who are willing to explore and do it. The Tiddy Wiki group is a group of people who know tons. And they and you might want to search that group first. I just sent you the code in on the chat for okay. the for the bad. Yeah, we typed it in wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then send it to. Yeah. Yeah. I did it in the chat. Yeah. Um, but the point of the group is that you can generally search for almost anything you want to do and find somebody in the group who's written the code for you already before asking questions. So try to try not to ask questions that get frequently asked. Um, so we're gonna um, jump over to our uh, conversation with Jeremy.